Welcome to this weather video. And, uh, yes, the, uh, just for well, a few words to start off this video, the next three days are going to be extremely hot and pretty much the, the peak in the heat for the, pretty much the summer right now. It's going to be like insanely hot and very miserable the next three days so that's pretty much all i'm going to be talking about so you can probably just end the video now if you wanted to but without further ado i'm going to start off with the precipitation because you know it's going to be warm and muggy it's not really going to be surprising to look at the maps but i think the most important thing i want to talk about in this video is it is it going to rain the next three days with the humidity that's a good question. It's kind of hard to tell, but uh, on your Friday, I believe it's going to be rain-free. And maybe some rain probably in the Boston area, but I don't see anything. I'm going back on different model runs. These are older and newer. It looks like it's going to be dry to start at 5 o'clock in the morning. It looks like it's going to be a dry day on Saturday, but as you can see right here, you have showers and storms coming through Pennsylvania and New York, but that's not going to be an issue for Massachusetts. Maybe it will be like 2 a.m. the next day, as you can see here. Maybe showers and thunderstorms are popping up. This is 9, 8, 8 9 o'clock in the evening. There's going to be some activity in Western Mass, but I don't see much of an issue here this may be an issue but i'm not going to really most of the day on friday it's going to be dry so i'm not going to really say it's going to be any rain but it looks like from this picture right here it looks like it's going to be even showers or thunderstorms it's really all over the place here so it's going to be kind of hard to pinpoint where they're going to be in the evening and then, as you can see, they kind of fade out for the overnight hours. And then you get into Saturday. Saturday is mainly dry, too, as well. No activity for Massachusetts. On Sunday, this model doesn't go through Sunday. But Sunday looks like there's going to be some showers, maybe in the uh, late afternoon, and evening, and overnight. But that doesn't look like it's going to be a big deal. Here's another look at the uh, Friday and Saturday loop. As you can see, some downpour showers and thunderstorms may come into western Massachusetts on late Friday afternoon into the evening. Saturday looks like it's dry. Sunday, there's a front trying to move through, but the front is, looks like it's taking its time. So there may be some spot showers throughout the region on uh, Sunday Late, eve late afternoon and evening, probably the same time frame as Friday, uh, Friday's little storm system. And then that getting into Monday, but I'm not going to go that far. Here's your temperatures. I'm just going to speed right through this. You know it's going to be very, very hot on the next three days. Nothing really. Yeah, look at that. Like 90s on Saturday, not including the heat index. It looks like on your Sunday, it's going to be the hottest of the three days. It's just another look at it. I'm pretty much saying the same thing. The hottest day will fall on Sunday. Then you get into Monday, but I'm not going to go into Monday. And just like I said, it's going to be very humid the next couple of days. Very, very, very nasty heat. As you can see, there's a relief up here in Canada, but that won't come in, into our region until like at least Monday evening. There's the dew points. Just going through them. You can pause or slow the video if you wanted to. And then Sunday's over, then the front tries to move in on Monday. So that's pretty much all I have for you for this video here. It's just a summary of what you just said if you wanted to go back to it. And, uh, well, stay cool, be smart in the heat, and I will catch you on Sunday, I believe. Peace.